Hey, this is E.G. Sebastian from MyClientAttractionAcademy.com. I want to shoot you a quick video on how to create a recurring payment through PayPal. You, of course, log in to your account. And I believe you do have to have a business account. But as, as far as I know, it's a free account. So you go to Tools. Click on Recurring Payments. Then you click on Create a Subscription button. And so here you make sure that on the drop down you have the subscriptions checked. You add an item name, um, let's say monthly coaching 550 per month, and choose your currency. And you can leave the rest as they are. You don't have to change any of those. If you're creating it for a membership site or even for a service where you want to give a trial period at a lower price, you can check this button and then you can add in whatever you want to provide for the trial period. And you can also define whether you want it for one month or one week, two weeks, whatever it is, three months whatever it is. Do you want to offer a second trial period? I've never used that feature but I guess it's possible as well. And you don't have to worry about any of the other ones. Um, I usually live my use my secure merchant account ID but yeah you don't have to worry about the rest. Now if you're creating this um, where you would like people to get to a thank you page then you can click on customize advanced features and you check take customers to this URL when they cancel so if they cancel let's say they click on the payment button but then they cancel their checkout they can be taken to this page or um, this is what I use all the time after they check out they get to a thank you page and then it will say also next next steps and then I invite them to join my membership site or um, I offer them a, a, another freebie um, the, the possibilities are endless so use this wisely and if you sign up for my newsletter at myclientattractionacademy.com then uh, I have there a 90 days course to a successful coaching business so if you sign up to that, you will see that after you sign up, you get to a thank you page where I have these next steps and all that. And that's a free one, but I use a similar page for all of my paid uh, services as well. Also, if you're selling a product, then um, you can have people be redirected to that thank you page where they can download their product instantly. That way they don't have to wait for you to send it by email. So this is a very important um, little feature here. And you, so of course you can use this even when it's not a subscription base. This is, uh, I'm showing you the month to month um, subscription. But even if it's just a one time payment, of course, you could use this feature. And then you just create the button and that's it. Now here's uh, an important um, an important thing to remember. It helps if you put in the dollar amount. So we said five hundred fifty dollars a month. Uh, I was very generous. I gave a one month one dollar trial. Let's make it one week. I'm not that generous. Okay, and. So you don't have to do that, right? That's if you if you want to give a trial period. Then you create the button, and here it is. You see, 
you have to click on the email here's the link so you take this link and then uh, in WordPress let's say Let's go to a page. In case you don't have experience creating links, you might find this useful. So you, uh, let's say, create a new page or a new blog post. And here you say click here um, to get started. Okay, I like it larger font and click on the insert link button you paste that you paste this uh, link in there I'm using control C but you can right click and copy it's either way and then here I use control V or you can right click and paste it and I usually like it to open in a new window in case they close the PayPal window they still get back to the original page and maybe they keep reading my sales letter and they will change their mind and still sign up if you don't do the opening new page then once they get to that page and they close it then they are gone so I suggest opening payment links in new page and that's it you publish and there will be your link there's the link click it and it opens in a new tab and this is how it will look one dollar for the first week then 550 usd for each month and they have to log in to make their payments log into paypal so that's most people have paypal accounts these days um, i've been using exclusively almost exclusively paypal paypal for the past three or four years i do have a one shopping merchant account as well I have it for almost 10 years but uh, in the past uh, few years I've been using PayPal mostly it's much simpler to set it up so that's it let me know if you have any questions